and we're not identifying the family given the nature of what potentially happened. But as you can imagine, the parents are shocked, disgusted and say that their teenage daughter was specifically targeted by that male flight attendant. It's, it's sickening. Those are the only words a North Carolina family can find to describe what they say happened to their teenage daughter on a Boston bound American Airlines flight. There was a, an iPhone there that had been secured underneath the tape um, that was lenses facing out clearly positioned to film her. The 14 year old's mother and father talking only to Channel 5. They're not sharing their identity to protect their daughter, but say a male flight attendant who looked to be in his late 20s or early 30s stopped her from using the bathroom to wash his hands. And when he came out, he told her the seat is broken. We're going to fix it when we get back to Charlotte. Don't worry about it. When she went in, she noticed this red tape that reads seat broken and used the bathroom. Upon second glance, she noticed the phone and took this photo. Do you worry about what was caught on that camera when she used the bathroom? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely, absolutely we do. To the point that it thickens us. The young girl showed her mom the picture who immediately went in to look herself. At that point, the phone was gone. Do you think that she was specifically targeted? Absolutely. There is no doubt in our minds that she was targeted by him. I mean, he approached her while she was waiting for the bathroom. He walked her up there. He went in right before her and then right after her. The family says American Airlines has not reached out to them, and now they're wary about traveling in the future. You know, there are a lot of things we worry about when we travel now, but one of them is not that your child is going to be exploited and targeted for the procurement of child pornography in the bathroom. The family did give statements to Mass State Police, and they say the FBI is investigating. We have reached out to the FBI, but they are declining to comment. Live in the newsroom, Danae Bucci, WCVB.